thing, but the message of development, the message of encouragement to the young people. The so me- do you think Gambia is free from the colonial masters? Yeah, in another way, now, we, we are free in the colonial masters, but still we need their support. And it depends on the angle between which we are talking about. So what we are celebrating today, we are not celebrating full self-sufficiency independence. We are not celebrating any other independence. What we are celebrating is the political in-
Oke. Okay. Nah, apa dah? Nah, apa? Nah, apa? Ini produk di sini. Oke. Ya, iya. Ini parents ini. Nah, kalau aku di sini? Nah, alhamdulillah. Di sana ya, lala. Pasti ini parents. Jaman ini sahaja udah kerewa jawa lala. Munyo jaman ini ya, ya. Munyo jaman ini ada masalah. Ah, ini parents nak cuci sini awal ni. Si history lah. Si bayu cusan lah. Bayu cusan lah. Bayu tarik lah. Bayu boham ni. Masya Allah. Ini pun kolonias ke? Ah, di kota ini ada di kota ada lih history lah. Ini pernah sekali mahu kau istop korok. Ini pernah sekali dia yang pakai mahu dia pakai orang yang dia pakai ini pernah. Wah, next year ini pernah semua dah. Bawa nak kau faham ke? Bias ini pernah so far. Bawa dengan kau pada waktu kau mahu six years. Ini pernah setiap yang bawa nak lihat ni orang kaya kisah different. Wah, I'm not different tuji. Asli ini pernah semua bawa nono in those days school siapa pada match. Why be them just select? Way different way. Why ah, lorak way different way. Why lu tak lihat nyuri select nyuri kapan? Wow, kau lihat anda me? Pasti ah, independen sah female capital ni. Anak sangat. Kau tu yang ada region si dor di kau dek. Why independen? Ah, si lu tak mau am different way. Ah, independen si aga lah. Su independen si rajes. Tinggal si nyuri pet jenjauat makati square for sport. Why let you know I'm a two? Let you know it's different. Mak ni nak kirim ke bahaba. So you orang apa ni? Gambi, I'm not, I'm not bapa muka. Gambi, I'm not bapa real lah. Real lah. Why ni dia ni orang dek Gambi? Gambi, I'm not bapa. Gambi, I'm not ni orang yang cing independen ni. Ni orang yang kerja yang ni real lah. Ni orang yang cing independen. Yang cing independen. Jere jere. Say the content and the elegance of the language you use today. I particularly took note of the president's statement. He said, uh, spectacularly phenomenal. I, I thought that was as a number of words, and I really love what he was saying. But the message of development, the message of encouragement to the young people, the message, the message of inclusiveness, regardless of our ethnic or political orientations, that's what I do. And the optimism that is embedded in this speech, that this country, which had gone through struggle upon struggle, still has challenges, but this country will keep on rising, and this country will deliver to these young people to a level where our country will be a shining example in the whole continent. Thank you. So what does independent mean to you? Well, it's freedom. And you know, I like my freedom, because my hashtag is can't cage me. I don't want to be in anybody's cage. So I'm free in an independent person. That's why I said people are happy. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Yakatura. I work with the senior secondary school. Okay. What does independence mean to you? Alhamdulillah. Independence means you know freedom. We are as we are freedom because it's like we are caged in the hands of the colonial masters. So we have to celebrate that we are free from the colonial masters. As that's why we are celebrating this independence uh, as a country. So do you think Gambia is free from the colonial masters? Yeah, in another way, though, we, we are free in the colonial masters, but still we need their support uh, because uh, no matter how, 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 to, how no matter how independent you are, you have to be uh, you have to base on other their people to make, to develop your country in order to, for your country to go forward. Yeah. What are some of the ways that um, you think we can be in our independent fully? Some of the ways. Without, without, um, Depending on other countries, yeah. First of all, we must have people who are well educated. Yeah, if we have the people who are not, they are very well educated. We can get our independence. And first of all, we must have patriotism as a citizen. Also. Okay, we should have patriotic citizens as well. You know, the people who you know, they love this country. They are the people who you know they can fight for this country again to gain our full independence. As we want it. So, how do you feel today? Today, being your independence. Uh, alhamdulillah, it's it's a great joy for us to celebrate our independence again, and I wish next year we celebrate more like this one again. Inshallah. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, ma. What's your name? I am Amadou Kamara, the GTU Region One Chairperson, and also part of the organizing committee coordinating this. What's independent means to you? Um, it means a lot to me. Because when you talk about independence here, we are talking about the political independence. So as, as a citizen and as a teacher as well, it means under the British colony. 
So as a free nation today, who manage our own affairs, when this uh, such days comes, it means a lot, a lot, a lot. Because you need to reflect the past, connect it to the present, and then think how the future would, would be. So definitely it means a lot of things. So do you think Gambia is fully independent? Yes, Gambia is fully independent. Because if you say independence, it depends on the angle between which we are talking about. So what we are celebrating today, we are not celebrating full self-sufficiency independence. We are not celebrating any other independence. What we are celebrating is the political in independence. And that we are fully independent because we manage our own affairs. So we are fully independent. Okay, um, how do you see the independent now and before? Um, probably there is difference in which, that is the mode of celebrations. Because in those days, it was decentralized, you know. And when we have the people in the greater Banjul area, they come to this Makati Square here and celebrate the independence. And those in the regions will equally celebrate with their, the leader, under the leadership of their regional governors. So the ambience in those days, my, myself personally, I'm a rural child. I hail from the West Coast region. So I can see the celebrations of those days. It takes a one month preparation. Because those in the car sky, the scow, the red cross, you need to buy new uniforms to go and partake in the match pass. The ambience was just amazing. But nowadays, it normally takes a low key. You can see around only two schools are selected, only schools within Banjul. And even that's only 25 or 23, plus two teachers making it 25 are asked to come. So you can see how restrictive it is. So it's taking a low key. But the president did announce today that. Come next year, the 60th anniversary is going to be a grand celebration, and you call all Gambians to participate. So, so the celebrations has taken different dimensions. Yeah. So, how do you think um, we should teach the younger generation about um, independence? Um, it's good that we teach them about independence, especially the struggle towards independence. We they need to know the colonial Gambia. They need to know how people struggle during the, those days when people were here and their affairs were managed by others outside the country they need to we need to teach them how they how the independence was attained as people say gambia attained their independence on a silver plate which is never the case because people really struggle to make sure that they got to where we are today the likes of Edward francis small the likes of Jabba jawumba reverend jc fai sadawra karaba jawara and so many others so the, the young need to be taught on how the independence came about because people have been attending conferences in 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 in, in london in gambia to make sure that we are we are independent so it's not just on a silver plate as some historians will, will portray so it's important that our young generation are told how independence came about so that they know where we are as a nation this will teach patriotism in them so what's your favorite memory about independence uh, my favorite memory is, is is the days when i was in the primary school when i was in the primary school um, i used to be active in red cross like it's like those days when we are as a rural child imagine if you have new clothes you know you feel so amazed sometimes when the independence is one month everybody will realize that independence is coming because both those in the civil society groups and even the students if you don't have a new uniform you will not join the mark pass so we bother our parents so much so anytime i participate in this independence celebration i used to reflect in those those days definitely those are my favorite moments as far as independence concerned and the mark passes now we enjoy the mark pass so much definitely thank you so much thank you how are you i'm fine thank you uh, what's your name i'm henrietta sonko okay um how do you see the independence today i do it's very nice okay mm -hmm. um how do you feel celebrating the 59 independence i think every year there's a progress and we look forward to next year being a big one uh, but i I've been here now for 32 years and I really see the, the ownership and the, the Gambian-ness growing, which is very nice. So how do you... We are proud of Gambians, isn't it? As Gambians, yeah. uh, for Gambia. You have been here, um, here for 32 years, you said. Um, yes. How do you see the independent before and now? Um, I'm looking at the 32 years ago, it was 
more talking about yes we are independent uh, yes we uh, have our own identity and so on but that whole own identity is growing the pride taking up challenges yourself and it's something which is really maturing so as president baro was saying uh, the country will never retire but they did get to a stage where we look as a nation at who are we what are we proud of and uh, how can we build a nation based on the pride of our cultures our diversity and so on okay thank you so much